Hello everybody and welcome to this lesson. We want to see in this video how to add the finish checkpoint to the game. So in the previous video we saw everything about creating the dead zones, the boxes, the collider with the coins, with the uh, with different elements of in our world. In this video we want to add the, the, the last thing in this game on this chapter how to add the finish checkpoint so basically we're just gonna create a new empty game object here and say it's gonna be finish and we need to give this finish a specific tag so I'm just gonna name it finish and give it a specific tag called finish and back to the finish assign the tag save and I need to add the finish under or above this blue uh, box. So I'm just going to add a component box collider and I just make it is triggered. I'm just going to move this a little bit here. Double click on the finish in order to zoom in. I need to increase the size on the Y to be something like that. So this is the, the finish checkpoint that we want to check if the player won the game or not. Okay, after that, save the scene, I need to go to the script and add an additional else if statement here and say else if collider tag is equal to finish, I'm just going to play the uh, audio source clip dot win is equal to win and audio source play is play and also I need to make something else I want to say game object dot is um, we, we have many methods here we need to make rigid body 2d as kinematic is equal to true what do we mean by kinematic? Kinematic means this object is going to be static and it's not going to move by physics uh, engine. So if I save the scene right now and click play and run, you can see I just I never reach I'm just gonna show you I never reach the, the the this point why because you need to add the finish point inside the world not outside the point so I always hit the dead zone as you can see here just zoom out you can see I hit the dead zone all the time I don't reach this point finish it doesn't move so you have to put this finish inside the world so I'm just gonna move it inside the world to move with the world so let's run and see right now when I reach this point I'm just gonna play the sound of wind so you're gonna hear this sound this is this sound is gonna be played when uh, I reach the finish point so let me just run it I'll let you see You see, and I made made the game as kinematic. So when I make it kinematic, it's gonna be fixed. So it doesn't move by, uh, uh, you know, f physics uh, movement and jump and stuff like that. This is what you mean by kinematic. So right now, just wanna remove the kinematic. So I'm just gonna save this. All right, this is just very basic game uh, that we want to make here. It's just very, very ma basic game. We want to move to something else right now. We need to to extend this a little bit. Okay. Uh, we need to add something called UI Kit to the game. But what is UI Kit? 
UI Kit is a complete storyboard game uh, tool that lead you to edit, customize your game into stages and levels with full storyboard. I mean, if you need menu, there's a menu. If you need a lose menu, there's a menu. Timeout menu, there's a timeout um, dialogue. If you need a three stars dialogue, there's three stars winning dialogue. Uh, there's stages, there is navigation. It's a complete storyboard game. We're going to see this in the next section into how to customize this simple game into many levels using the storyboard UI kit. Uh, I hope it's going to be very beneficial for you and it's, it is going to be very beneficial for you because this is, is one of the unique courses in Odemy or on the web that teach you how to build a complete storyboard game from scratch from A to Z and that's it guys so see you in the next lesson in the next section we're gonna talk about how to customize your game into a complete storyboard using UI kit so see you in the next lesson